Sumter Today is presented by USC Sumter, Sumter Tourism, and Prisma Health. We started in 1996, and uh, I was actually at Clemson getting a degree in agriculture. Um, at the time, we were working tobacco, that was our cash crop. With tobacco, you couldn't just grow all the tobacco you wanted to, you had to have allotment. So it kept cutting it every year. So our cash crop, the acres of cash crop we could grow was getting smaller. So we were, and I was wanting to come back to the farm full time. So to be able to do that, we were looking for some diversification. I'm not, I don't want to force it on either one of my kids because like I say, you've got to love this to do it six days, six and a half, seven days a week. So um, if, if it's not in your heart and you, it's not something you're passionate about, there's no need in doing this. So. And farmers are, we're stretched so thin, it's not like we can go to every school or to every civic group and speak on what we do. That's, that's what we need to do, but we can't, we just don't have the time, you know. It's, but education of the general public is what, what needs to happen. I think there's a big misconception about chemicals and fertilizer that farmers used and, and you know, really farmers are, you know, we're stewards of the land. So we're not, we're not, the land has got to provide for us, for us to make a living. So everything we do is to make the, the land better. You know, I, my goal is to leave the land better when I die than when I got it, you know, and that's, I think there's, that's a big misconception. You know, we're, nothing we're doing is, you know, my kids are out here in this, I'm out in here, I got hired help that's out here in there. I'm not gonna put them in danger's way. You know, everything we do is, you know, we know it's safe, we're not trying to harm anybody. So what we're doing is, is trying to grow the, the most abundant, safest food we can for the nation. Yeah, it was, it was a little adjustment going from row crops, only row crops, to turkeys because row crops on Sunday you can, or Saturday afternoon you switch your tractor off and you come back on Monday and it's there. With turkeys it's seven days a week. Somebody's gotta be available, somebody's gotta be there every day, somebody's gotta be available, you know, if something goes wrong. Weather is, is probably the biggest challenge we face. I mean, and then probably the second most important thing we face is, is commodity prices. Uh, you know, things that are out of our control. You know, we're, farmers are, are price takers, not price makers. So everything we do, you know, when we call about fertilizer, we take the price they give us. When I call about selling some corn, I take the price they give me. I can't make my price. So, you know, there's so much out of our control. So you gotta be a little bit crazy to do what we do. Um, but when it's in your blood, I don't, you know, I could have took uh, my four year degree in agriculture and, and probably done something a lot easier, but I don't know of anything that would make me this happy, so.